singing tips by D, singing techniques. What's up, everyone? Oopsie. Welcome to my channel if you're new, welcome back if you've been here before. Finally back with another episode of mini singing tips. If I'm not wrong, it should be episode 19. Today I'm going to share with you an extremely powerful strengthening technique for your diaphragm in order to have more vocal support, meaning singing louder or beatboxing louder, whatever vocal field you want to use that for. But before I'm getting into explaining and demonstrating, I first of all want to say thank you so much for all of my new students that signed up with me. The singing technique is still exploding. We are now at, to be exact, 356 only five stars reviews on Fiverr. So thank you to all of my students. I love you all so much and welcome to all of my new students. If you want to sign up for classes, you can obviously find the link below in the description where you're not only going to find my Fiverr account, but also my website where everything is explained way more in detail than on Fiverr and where you can also find all of the singing tips videos on one page. So. I recommend looking into it. Also, I want to address another thing. You might have noticed that I haven't uploaded as many singing tips videos as I usually did. And that has a very important and crucial reason. So there's this really important step between doing exercises and performing, which is implementation of technique. Meaning you might have noticed sometimes if you learn your exercises, you're like me, mamu, mamu, you do your exercises and then you go on stage or you perform or whatever, you sing for real and your muscle memory comes through and all of a sudden it's like, okay, why did I learn the exercises? What was that for now? Why does it not work? Which is the reason why a lot of times YouTube tutorials don't really work. Because if that important step in between, the implementation of technique is not taking place, practicing and performing are always gonna stay two worlds. Now, because I can't do implementation via video, I started becoming very cautious with uploading singing tutorials to YouTube. It's really necessary to have real classes for that because every student is different. Every student has different needs and problems that they're working on. Also, because a lot of times you watch a YouTube video and you just do your exercises and if you haven't watched all of my singing tutorials, you might do something wrong because you miss the basics of all singing in general. Like for example, how to not get hoarse and how to do the exercises in the right way and so on and so forth. What can happen is that you can damage your vocal cords. That's why I sometimes find it a little bit irresponsible to upload YouTube singing tutorials please forgive me for that I'm thinking really hard doing a lot of brain work on what tutorials I can upload that are not so let's say dangerous to practice on your own <laughs> but eventually I always will find something to share with you just like this video today so before you watch this video pause right here and if you haven't already go and watch my video that's called belly breathing versus diaphragm breathing because it's gonna make way more clear what I'm explaining right now. You will obviously find the link at the end of this video when these little squares pop up to my playlists. And if you don't wanna click on that, just go to my channel and you will see all my playlists listed, including the mini singing tips playlist. So here it comes. Now, in order to strengthen the diaphragm, just like with any other sport, we have to stretch and work out the muscle. And you wanna do the following exercise sitting down, okay? Don't do it standing up, not only because it's way more effective, but also because you don't wanna get dizzy and you don't wanna faint or something like that, okay? So you sit down in a chair and then you're gonna breathe in with the diaphragm technique. Like I said, watch this in the other video. And while you breathe in, you're gonna wanna suck in your stomach, just like this. All right, and what that does Watch this, we have our diaphragm right here. You can see right here when I breathe with the diaphragm breathing technique. You see how that expands, but guess what? When I suck in the stomach, look what happens. It stretches the diaphragm. So there we have our stretch, right? We breathe in through the nose, okay? Not through your mouth, through the nose. Big breath in pulling in the stomach and you want to make sure that your shoulders are heavy. Don't pull them up when you breathe in, okay? Heavy shoulders, like this. And you're gonna feel a really good stretch here. 
and don't exaggerate okay it doesn't have to go as far as when I do it I obviously do this since almost 22 years so I'm very stretched okay so even if you just go a little bit it's gonna still help okay so that's step one we breathe in suck in the stomach as much as you can and then you're gonna want to breathe out while pulling the arms up in a circle motion like this through the mouth <sighs> now here comes the key though you're gonna want to push as far out as you can <sighs> as far out as you can you're gonna start feeling your diaphragm pushing down that's exactly what you want you're gonna breathe out as much as you can <sighs> until you're at the very end you can hear I'm at the very end and then you're gonna want to bend over like I said you're sitting down bend over to get even more air out and then you start the cycle all over again push all the way out I'm already sweating. Whew. Whew. And so on and so forth. <laughs> you're gonna notice that you start sweating a lot and that's when you know you're doing it right. Now, as I said, you are going to feel your diaphragm. So when we breathe in, we have our stretch of the muscle. And when we breathe out, we have our strengthening of the muscle. It's basically like lifting weights. Now, ideally, you want to do this cycle 6 to 12 times, okay? Start with 6, then move up to 8, and then go up to 12. And you will notice after the first time already that something has changed. I even notice it right now. I don't know if you notice that I'm speaking louder. And imagine if you do that for one week, maybe three or four times during that week, you will notice your speaking or singing or beatboxing is getting way louder and stronger and way more effective and you have a lot of breath support how they call it and everything just goes very much easier ah it just comes on <laughs> so loud okay you gotta know just like with any other muscle don't do it every day maybe two days and then skip one day because otherwise the muscle can't build if you go to the gym or if you do any type of muscle training you already know but the point is if you do it every day every day the muscle never has time to build so this is the trick this is the magical little exercise and you will not believe it it actually has one more really awesome side effect it gets rid of heartburn and acid reflux like immediately so if you have heartburn you do this exercise maybe eight times and your heartburn is going to go away because what it does it closes the muscle of the stomach opening which is open if you have acid coming through it closes it down it makes the muscle stronger and closes it down again the reason why we have acid reflux a lot of times not always i'm not a doctor right but the main reason is because we're so stressed and then we don't breathe out enough and we always have short breath <sighs> And it comes up so strong that the muscle is weak and it's open. It's a lot of times also connected with ulcers, which you should get rid of, obviously, as well. That's why I'm saying if you have acid reflux, don't only rely on this video. Go to your doctor. But it definitely helps. It helps me when I have acid reflux and it helped a lot of my students when they had acid reflux to get rid of it in total when you do this exercise all the time. So. That's it. I hope that helped you as much as it helped me and all of my students. And as usual, if you have any questions or ideas, let me know in the comments below. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And don't forget to check the links. There's awesome stuff to discover. I have Oh My God t-shirts in the shop and all sorts of other music related apparel. So check it out. And as always, much love to everyone. Stay focused and have a blessed now. Mm -hmm.